This image is from the book Silencing the Fields, and it shows how um, your neighbor's current, uh, electrical current flowing into his house, can use an alternate path, uh, which is through your uh, water pipe to get back the transformer. And this can set up unbalanced current uh, within your house and create magnetic fields on all of your copper pipes. And uh, we have that going on in this house right now, and we'll show you uh, what's going on. Now, these magnetic fields can be quite damaging to your health. To your health. Um, if you look at the back of my magnetic field meter, uh, they indicate studies suggest biological effects may begin to occur near 3 milligauss of AC magnetic field. Um, and if you go on PubMed, um, uh, you can f search for uh, stress and EMF, and, and it'll show that uh, um, magnetic fields do stress human cells, and if they're strong enough, can even damage DNA. And you can also check out our site, uh, StressMG, that's Stress, M is in Mary, G is in George, dot com. Uh, so we will hook up the ammeter on our water pipe right now and see what we get for amps. Turn on the meter, uh, get the flashlight, and right now we have uh, 1.9 amps, and often it'll jump up uh, to over 4 or 5, um, but it's kind of holding steady. That's probably averages around 2, but it does spike up. There's 2.1, down to 1.1. So now we'll see what we have for a magnetic field. So we'll turn on the meter, and we'll set it to a scale of 0 to 100. And so if we bring it over to the meter, and we're going to need the flashlight. And you'll see we have basically pegged the meter. We have well over 100. Um, and uh, that's a pretty large, unhealthy magnetic field. And now what we'll do is we'll look around at the pipes all through the basement. And uh, we'll kind of follow that along. So there's the water main a little bit further along. We'll go look at some of the hydronic piping. Uh, so that's showing around 5 or 6. There's some spiking up around 10, 15. So basically all of the pipes in the basement are energized with this magnetic field. So to show that it's coming from outside the house, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to kill the power to the breaker in our house and just uh, show that it still exists. <coughs> so we're going to the panel. And we're going to kill the power to the panel. See the lights go off and we need the flashlight. Go back to the meter. And you'll see we're still actually just when I came over we're still showing four. It little jumped up to 4.8. But still kind of holding around 1.8, 1.9. So really no change. And when I bring the current meter back, or I'm sorry, the uh, magnetic field meter. Again, it's peg the meter well over 100 so this problem is resulting from current coming from outside the house to to uh, get back the transformer through our piping so we're going to fix that and we'll show you when that gets fixed and then uh, we'll show you the results afterwards